Hello, creatures of the internet, and welcome to part 37 of Biomutant. In our last video, we left off in this factory? Surge Surf Factory. And we have a new person that we can meet here. And I see we can very closely see this world eater. And it very much resembles a turtle. With moss growing on him or something. I wonder if we can actually see him over here. I don't think so. Are we gonna have to fight him in water, I wonder? What is that? What is that? You see this, right? Like, I'm not imagining this. Are we gonna have to fight this thing underwater? Oh, shit. I have not seen water like this deep. You can actually see the plants really well. My guess is that's the entrance and we're gonna be going through over those rocks there. Well, let's talk to or find this guy. What are these buildings, I wonder? Is there anything in them? Did we check these? I don't think we checked all of them, but they're all broken down. Well, one way to go then. This story needs a hero. No! This story is about a villain. Me. Hmm? What's up here? Knock knock. Hello? Wait. What's in here? Nothing? I guess there's not really. I guess there's an item here. I was gonna say, there's not really anything to. Find us keepers. Probably. get in here. Why do I hear weird water noises? Okay, there's a couple of paths we can take. What is that? Is that a giant spider? That's disgusting. No, please. What is going on? These look like penises. Tentacly penises. What is this? A hentai? Toxanol's mining led to mass deforestation and increased global warming as nature couldn't absorb the carbon dioxide and greenhouse gas emissions without the trees. These irreversible changes to the climate also contributed to the evolution and modified our genetic code. He said these, and that said this. This irreversible, not these. Okay, this goes down. We're not Everything ready to go down. Mistake. I guess we'll look at the notices get this board. on that board. No one paid much attention to them. It looks like. No, Wiz of course should not. Should be around here somewhere, probably taking care of his guppos. A surge surf factory what is a was one of the guppo? cleaner ways to make power. 
Until the surf turned into goo and clogged it all up, that is. What stopped it from working? He just said it. He just fucking said it. Are you a moron? The power comes from turning the movement of the surf into surge sparks. Sometimes science is beyond belief. There are sure to be more tracks around here. Maybe by the shore. Well, what's... what's in here? What is that? It's a table with feet. Rolly feet? Is that a... Is that a gas canister on it? Uh... Hmm... I don't wanna go this way. That's where the weird thing is. Uh, well, it looks like we're gonna have to go downstairs. Or there. Wooz isn't easy on the tongue, but I think he says he's happy to see a friendly face. Not too many of those around these days. Did we just teleport? Says it's good to see you again. He's Wiz. You might remember him from the old days when he let you try his octopod? Uh, Wiz no. Wiz remembers you were such a cheery kid, and he's glad to see that light hasn't faded from you, despite the years. But Wiz understands it was a long time ago, and memories get murkier the deeper you go, but says it helps to have friends with you to plumb those depths. I feel like we missed a lot in that flashback when we were a kid. Tell me about my childhood. Friends? Tell me about the Lupa Lupin. Uh, I don't really want to hear about any of this. They've been here for you since you were a kidling, but when you left, this you guy's also creeping me out. to distance yourself from everyone that cared for you. Wiz says our memory keeps things for us, preserves them until we are ready to face them again. He knows you've returned to face Lupa Lupin, and that confrontation is as inevitable as the tides. He's not surprised that the loss of your family could plunge you into the depths forever, but you've always been able to rise like a bubble to the surface, no matter what. He knows that though the tides of history may push you in one direction, you can always lay your own course. It's kind of creepy. He looks at our character, then looks at our screen, like he's looking at us. It's weird. I'm ready to forgive. No, I'm ready for revenge. He feels you've deserved revenge because of how you were wronged. You've suffered enough to make him pay. Asks if you ever think about freedom and whether any of us really has it. Did you make the decisions that brought you here, or are you just a pawn of fate? We can't control fate. No, not really. Well, maybe. Uh, I make my own choices. I do. Glad to hear that. He only wishes he was that sure about himself. Sad that the world is close to death. Wonders if he might be able to hold out a bit longer in an octopod. <sighs> Wonders why you felt like kicking the world so hard when it was already down. Fascinated you wound up working with the Jagni. He thinks of them not as makers, but takers. They make nests. They're collectors. Just wishes they'd collect their own things instead of taking them from others. Eh. But that's not nearly as important as this. Wiz says that you should let the past dwell in the depths. But there's something else down there, too, gnawing at the Tree of Life. He's named it the Merc Puff. 
This is why he's tinker tonkering with the octopod. But the lid got stuck, so he needs a big enough tug twister to open it up and let you a go in. He can't leave the surge station, so you must help him find a tug twister. There's a wound up mecha fingro in the mecha stadium that still has one stuck on its back. Find it, and you will find the tug twister. I remember there was something at the Mecca Stadium that we couldn't get in there. Uh, I'm not sure what either of these are, so... Getting that tool will help turn around the situation for sure. It'll definitely help him unshut the hatch. What kind of creature are you? Please don't look at me with those eyes. Oh my god. This thing does not look like an octopus. It looks like a spider. There's no way in hell that is an octopus. Well, I guess it kind of looks like it, but nope. It resembled a spider to me. Really? You came back? Okay, now if I recall, that that's locked. Up. That's locked. We gotta go upstairs and around. There we go. Really? Wow, just barely. Hey, and this door opened. What is the that? Day is wasting. Time to get to it. What is that? Disgusting. Biohazard. Just gross. You need to line up oh, the switches so and do match. this too. Good. That's enough electric current to initiate the actuators and Activate the framework. I want to know what that thing is. It looks like a hand. How are we still missing superb loot? Dude, it's a hand. Why? Nothing else in here? No, just the the freaky looking hand. You need to loosen the bolts without unsettling it. So That's weird. It. The tug twister's loose. Let's hope it turned the grabbing hand into a helping hand, too. Now we have to mount it? 
This mechanical marvel is a one-of-a-kind mount. It has... It even has a gun built in. To aim the weapon when mounted, press T. While aiming, shoot by pressing the left click. What? Oops. No. This is weird. This is weird. Are you serious? Oh god. I feel like we need to test this thing. It doesn't move as fast as I'd like it to. So, I decided to just fast travel back, and for some reason we're mounted on this thing. And I wasn't mounted when I fast traveled, because you can't. He believed the Tug Twister would do the trick, but now realizes brute force won't do the trick. You need something slick. Brute force usually works. I'm slick. You nasty. Well, he means slick as in greasy so you can lube the hinges of the lid. He can't argue against the fact your fur's shiny. Oh, he we can produce that too. <laughs> Problem is, he's all out. He knows his old friend Choo Choo always keeps his grease sprinklers well filled. He should have an extra that you can borrow. He stresses that you should come back as soon as you've retrieved the grease sprinkler. The Merc Puff is crunching bark by the minute. Tell me about the Merc Puff. Choo Choo? A grease sprinkler? Wants you to think of it as a black tar spritzer. The dead zone is full of that slimy black goo. It's good for fuel, but it's also slippy stuff. Well, I guess we're going back to Choo Choo, which we didn't get much out of him to begin with. Where did the music go? Ah, oh, there it is. He's convinced the tracks are like the paths our lives take. And you must deal with the outcome, even if you didn't lay them yourself. This what? time, though, he was sidetracked and needs a new wing nut to get back on track. Wing nuts are easy to find, as they're fitted on any in front chugger chugger out there. The challenge is taking them off, so he's happy you're here to do it for him. Can't have you sidetracked. I could give it a shot. Sounds dangerous. Says there's nothing to it. Just don't let the chugger chug you down. What does he want me to do? Seriously? Why couldn't he have us do this before? No, we have to go way over here. With no fast travel. Great. Since we're here, let's see if we can get those last items here. Whoops. I don't think we need that many. Yes! Finally! We can finish this place. Nice. Finally. Oh, 
Wasn't this a dead end? Oh. The wing nut chug tunnel. It goes on forever. How did I miss this? It really is a different world underground. Oh. There's something down there. And this is blocked. I wonder if we can get to the other side. Well, I guess there's one way to go, and that's down. Is it only these two? I guess. Did they get stuck down here, maybe? Get out of here. That's a good find. More biohazard that we don't need. Ah, there we go. No! No hugs for you! Get out of here! It's quite large. No huh. escaping the rain if you've got to be out. That was it. Jeez. Yeah, we fucked that up. Show went the other way. We're not gonna get this in three moves. Yeah. Why do they fuck us over like that? Just barely made it that time.
How did I miss this, too? Choo Choo says he knew you'd come through. If someone makes a stop at your station, it's for a good reason. But he understands no one gets their tracks greased for free. He'd be happy to part with his spare grease sprinkler, as he believes it's a great fit for any of your business that needs to be unstuck. He keeps it safe in a box on the handcart, in case of emergency. Where is it? He just said... Why? Yes, for something catastrophic. Like something squeaky in need of greasing or an ointment to ease the pain in these dark times in general. Um, Choo -choo what? says you should help yourself to the grease sprinkler. It's a versatile tool from the bygone, a last of its kind, so don't let it go to waste. He's convinced you'll put it to good use, as there are lots of stuckies out there that need greasing to open. You don't need to do that. That seems fair. The gadget is mine. Says he's glad to see it in good hands, rough as they might be. Okay. Choo Choo says he can't wait to get out of this place. I think I was supposed to be doing something. Was I? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Didn't have much else to say, so no problem. Oh, it's on the side. Grease sprinkler. Okay. Then... What? Oh, we're supposed to re-talk to him? You shouldn't worry about smashing up the box. Choo Choo has no use for it now. Choo okay. Choo says he feels strongly about helping his next, just like you did for him. He's convinced there was a bigger reason you met. Sometimes the wrong train will take you to the right place. He believes you've got what it takes to make a difference. He's witnessed it himself. I can't let rails confine me. What difference can I make? You believe in fate? Figures everyone chooses their own path. The longer you ride the rails, though, the easier it is to travel with friends. Choo Choo's thrilled you found the Ark. Just imagine how much faster than a chug that thing must be. And no rails needed. It's fast. It can go anywhere. Needs no rails, no roads, nothing but air. With yeah, the and you're not invited. With all the chugs going with it, it's fun to think about what kinds of yards the Ark could take you to instead. Hopes you'll be careful with the Ark. That's the last one around these parts. Wonders who you might call aboard the Ark with you. Not so what you. No. What really happens when you make a conscious choice to... Let's agree. But it's Goodbye. Hopes you figure out someone better to ride the Ark with you, if that's possible. Choo Choo says he's ready to pack up and leave. Okay, bye then. Has plenty to do, so no worries. Sounds it makes. Wiz says that there's no plan to confront the Merc Puff until the Octopod is properly armed. So we are gonna fight it underwater. Armed with what? He's happy to tell you that the cannon he's been working on now just needs ammunition. He says I just his asked. old friend Boom makes all things that go bang. Great. 
There's a rumor that some of Boom's pyro sticks shot off and are out there roaming free. You should Probably. keep an eye on the horizon for pyros. If you're fast, you have a shot at catching some of them before they go off. Pyros? It's like a bomb on a stick that moves really fast. Ah, I see. This is that place we couldn't get into. What? That was not there before. Goodbye. Really? I'm gonna ride on a rocket? This was not here before. Ready or not, here we go. And I'm all right. And there's our loot. What the hell just exploded? That looks like an unbanged pyro stick on the loose. Better catch it before it goes off. Great. Really? Get over here. Are they just gonna constantly go off? Yep, just shove it in its ass. Or its mouth. I'm not sure where he stuck it. The will cause a bang, but targeting is on you. At least now you have a chance to hurt the Merc Puff where it counts. Hurt how? Will the octopod hold up? Uh... He hopes so as there's no plan B, or more correctly, plan C. Out of date has named this plan B. Plan A was to take on the world eaters by foot, or flaps in this case. Turns out swimming down there was a bad idea. I can imagine. Wiz has been working on another cannon, but instead of pyro sticks, it squirts guppos. Scaly distractions for anyone with an appetite disorder, and irresistible for the Merc Puff in particular. DM. Seems the best way to find guppos is go talk to Gil. He has a natural sonar, and knows where the guppos sub the surf. This means you'll have to go visit Gil at Burblebottom. Find Gil and he'll be able to tell you where to find the guppos. Uh, what are guppos? Tells you it's a sort of fish that's able to reproduce really fast, which is a real advantage when you're going for infinite ammunition. Um, like instantaneously reproduce? Or do we gotta wait? Ooh, almost fell into that on purpose. His friend Wiz needs guppos for one reason or another, and Gil is ready to point you in the right direction. But here, you're only going to find dead ones. He's pretty sure Wiz wants them alive. Well, at least the ones that aren't already rotting. If you head in the right direction, you'll find a clean enough bit of surf to snag yourself some guppos. Then you can get them to whiz for whatever he has in mind. Uh, you're a good friend. Thanks for the advice. How about I take yours? He doesn't have any guppos, and whiz is particular about the kind he needs. Great. Now where? Everything can be a treat around here. Even you. What do you mean? No snack. Seconds. 
slash. The hell is going on over there? Oh great. Tentacles. Oh lord. Come on. <sighs> Seriously? I just fucked this up. I go in the wrong way. Just a few moves left. Make them count. Yeah. Fuck that up. God damn it. Fuck it. I know I fucked it up again. Press the wrong goddamn key. No. Oh, this is so annoying. There's three old world gadgets here. It's surprisingly bug-free underground. Uh. We're supposed to catch them when they jump. That's stupid. Come on, jump up. Where's the other one? Alright, find a way out. Ah. Uh, I don't think those are supposed to be floating around. Is this what I was using? I think so, yeah. What was that? Oh, great. One thing in that one? Are you fucking serious? We're not gonna make this in two. It's just impossible. Much harder to see outside now. We need to level up. New thoughts for you. Not that I think this will help any.
Okay, it gave us 13 moves this time. There we go. Missed that. What else we got in here? What is that noise? It sounds like somebody dying. Uh, where are we supposed to get off? Already pocketing things. We should probably go through our armor, see if we got anything better. No, not even close. There was nothing we can do about that one. Dang it! You know what? I keep pressing the wrong keys. That's my problem. Just barely got that. Where is this going to take us? Careful, nothing's sneaking up on you. Oh, we're back here. I see. There was one more thing we needed to find, and it was some green. Not sure where it'd be at. Must have been those guys over there that I heard, like, dying and shit. Supposed to be the money at this? Yep. Okay, come on. They were not that small. That seems to be enough guppos to provide the octopod with infinite ammunition. He's surprised the Merc Puff's been able to hold its breath all this time. It's definitely a turtle. It's just another proof of the evolutionary change caused by Toxanol's contamination. Being undersurf has meant the Merc Puff has been left alone to munch on the root down there undisturbed. 
DM. This means the northwest route has suffered more damage than the others. So, time's up. Tell me about Toxinol. Evolutionary change. Uh, does he know about Toxinol? The marks the corporation left behind on the land are everywhere, but they also abandoned technology, of which he's sure you only found a fraction. It's true. Oh no, why are we in it? Use normal movement controls while in the octopod. To boost, press shift, which is normal. To dodge incoming attacks, press Q, of course. To charge up an attack, hold the right click. To launch rockets, press the left click. This is weird. Okay, it swims like it would an octopus. Are you scared yet? It's getting dark. No. This thing is weird. Wait. How do we go back down? Oh, just press space. There we go. Why didn't it tell us that? Fate is funny that way. No, we're not going in there. Don't play the music. We have a quest here. Seems thrilled you grabbed all those glitter moths. Oh. We just turned in a quest. Okay. Wait, now it's telling me to return to him. What? I'm confused. Seems thrilled you grabbed all those glitter moths. I am so confused right now. There's a moose walking between all of them. All right, how are we getting over this this time, huh? Let's see. This is the tribe's last stand. I'm ready. Conquer Let's do this. He says you'd better be. Of course. They've managed to roll a bang ball against the fort, and the plan is to detonate. Okay, so we're doing this again. Is that a ship? Got blown up by his own thing. Give me that. Anything could be hiding out there. And that. There's a couple of them. our gear real quick because it's been a while not that we don't have a backpack
Some things are worth more in pieces. Let's dismantle that. And see if... That one is better. This one gives it 79. Seems to hold up. Let's do the 59 one. I just realized we don't... What is he wearing? This? Oh, there it goes. I'm gonna say, what the hell has he been wearing? Need to hit them where it hurts. Inflict Let it begin. Much... Stop talking. You have a hammer on their nail. Let's do this. What? He had nothing to say. Even dodge it. Get out of here. The Mega Merc Puff? What? The Mega Muck Puff. The Mega Muck in that cage looks like it could cause serious turmoil if let out. Get out of the Mega Mux way. Okay, but I want to know where it's going. And he just runs away. Away. 
my way. Tug of war. You can smell the must down here. The must? Is it musty? Hmm? The wire claw looks like it's strong enough to pull down a gate, but you just need to aim straight, shoot and pull, and the gate will come down. The Pishu tribe supports natural evolution on the dogma that only the strong survive. They want to help evolution on its way by conquering the tribes, as they're all too weak in their convictions. Anybody so he is evil. He didn't expect it would go down this way. It'll be hard to talk your way out of a fight. It's time to face your fears. I'll fight for what's right. It ends here. Persuade. Can we persuade him? He needs a logical reason to surrender the fort without a fight. We can risk it. He recognizes the strength of a good argument and agrees it's for the best. He'll surrender the fort to you. Damn straight you'll surrender to me. The rival Sifu is defeated, and the destiny of their tribe is in your hands. You are free to choose their fate, but not free from the consequences of your choice. Can I please just kill one of them once? It's up to you to decide the fate of the rival Sifu, but uh, you either stay. He likes the way you think. And with Stop that, talking. you're spinning your own step by step until all have given up their rights for the good of others. He says victories are won on the backs of many, but with your help, they've achieved a great thing for the tribe and the land. It's finally over? Backs of many? Is it finally over? You're fortunate to have ended the war before it ended you. You're in need of a new start for the world now more than ever. When you first met, your life was without past and future. But you've both come a long way, and this moment, it belongs to you. He still needs you by his side, even though the tribe war has come to an end. You know better than anyone that the fate of the world is still at stake. Your tribe still needs guidance, now, more than ever. Do they fear the end? There are times when fear is good. Yes, your whole goal is to be terrifying, to strike fear in those before you. But you've won already. Do you really want a tribe that's afraid of its own people? But what did people? That wasn't in there. Yay, victory! Yep, just hold your hand up. We've come far and conquered all. Who the hell's that? Uh. Where's that at? Um. Achievement unlocked. The dragon. Main quest completed. Again, why can't I sit in the chair? It's the Pichu Nanchuk. Yep. Another useless weapon. Return to out of date. Why does it want us to return to out of date? Before we do that though, there is an entire section here that we need to explore. 
can't fast travel there, apparently. We have to leave. So, I guess we're gonna leave? Open up. It's better oh. to go forward. You know what? Before we leave. Back. Let's see what the mount is. If we can find it. Oh, it's right here, I think. What? You motherfuckers. That's not a new mount. I've seen it before. Many times before. We are at the entrance to the northern part of the map. We have this whole area left to explore with lots of quests. But we will do this in the next video. I hope you all enjoyed part 37, and I'll see you all next time. Until we meet again.